Hey y'all. We're back. This week we're gonna continue working out our dinette. Let's go. <laughs> In our last video, I cut and sanded all of the pieces that I'm gonna use for an accent wall to go behind the dinette. I picked out a couple of different colors of wood stain and I also got a little bit of paint. I'll try to put the brighter colors on the small pieces, so maybe like the white and don't laugh, but metallic gold <laughs> pieces uh, will be maybe the small ones because they'll probably stand out much more than the natural wood or the darker wood finishes. So I'm kind of just going in blind on this. I don't really have a strategy. I'm just gonna get started staining and hopefully it'll come together. All right, I think I'm ready to start staining. I just have to pick a color. I've been really putting this off. I picked out half of the pieces and I want them to be stained one color so that there's kind of a main color. So I'm trying to decide between using this dark walnut or this English chestnut as the main color. So I just consulted with Jimmy and I think we've decided to go with the English chestnut, which is the lighter of the two colors I was considering. on for the English chestnut pieces and it's a lot darker than I was expecting it to be. I think it looks kind of indistinguishable from the dark walnut so I guess I didn't have much of a choice between the two. Um, I think it'll look nice. I know you're supposed to do a test piece before you commit to a color but I don't really know what I want it to look like so I don't think I would have turned down any color as long as it wasn't like you know too colorful but any shade of wood I'm happy with it's just I really thought it would be a little bit lighter so last video I left off by creating the four panels for the dinette seating today I'm really close to be able to connect them all um, and actually be able to sit in them but before that I would just like to sand them all down so that I don't have to worry about doing that once they're all built together so let's start with that I finished sanding all the four panels and I think it's time to put them together. Honestly, I'm more nervous about this part of the process than cutting out the wood. I don't know why, but I mean, at this point, I feel like I'm so prepared. I've got them all cut out. Uh, I've triple checked the measurements and they're all sanded. So it's starting to look more like, you know, an IKEA build your own furniture set than a DIY project, which is good, but I don't know. It doesn't help ease the nerves. All right, so I'm gonna start drilling holes and putting stuff together. So I mentioned in our last video that we're using leftover scraps of wood from other projects like the subfloor to 
get the wood for this project. And keeping with that spirit of using leftover materials, we're gonna be reusing some leftover ceiling paint for a couple of white pieces. I don't wanna do very many pieces this color, so I think it, it doesn't seem worth it to me to go buy another can of paint for it. So I'm gonna paint some white pieces next and I've already set them aside, so I'm ready to go. Someone, Natalie, took all of my tables for her uh, staining project, so I'm reduced to this tiny little one, but that's okay. I'll get her back later for this. But for now, I'll be using this tiny table. I'm trying to remember which side's the good side so that I can make sure that good side is facing up when I'm done. sitting in our dinette and a few minutes ago I wasn't and I haven't moved. All right, well, we got our first chair supports done. Um, you might have spied uh, the extra pocket holes on this set. That's because I did not double check the pocket hole size in and I drilled the holes too large. When I drilled the pocket screws through, they kind of poked out the other uh, panel. So I had to redrill a smaller hole so that we don't have that problem. Not a big issue and I'll remember that for next time since we have one more dinette seat to make. The next thing I'll be doing is trying to maybe add a back support here. This is the one that'll go up against the bed. It'll be slightly different from the one that's back is facing the couch. You'll kind of see what I mean later uh, once it's done. I kind of move these so that they're grouped together and next I'm going to paint some gold pieces and cross my fingers and hope that they don't turn out too tacky. spray paint but cool well I guess I'll let that dry I just got done putting in the back of the dinette. So we're gonna do part two of Natalie tries the dinette for the first time. <laughs> this time with a real back in it. This piece of plywood is just loosely sitting on here. It's not even cut out to be the right size. So this is not the final dinette, but. Right, it's just a pre-lunch break test run. Yeah, this is a pre-lunch test. <laughs> All right. All right, now lean back. Wow. That's not bad. Yeah, that's really not bad. <clears throat> so most of the angles I'm dealing with are pretty solid 90 degree angles, so there's not much to do to get them flush, but 
The one um, 100 degree angle that I've got that creates the lean back for the chair, I would like to make sure that that seam is nice and flush. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the table saw and cut out a slant on the edge of this board. So I'm not cutting off any length to it. I'm just gonna slice an angle in it. So when I line this up along that seam, um, it'll fit flush with the previous board I just put in there. At least that's the idea. So we'll see how it, well it turns out. <laughs> I don't know how you can see it, but there it is. I have all the different colored stains and paints done. So I have English chestnut, Puritan pine, white, which was actually the ceiling paint that we used, and spray paint metallic gold. And I like how they all look. The Puritan pine and the gold look really similar, but the gold is more opaque, and the Puritan pine, you can see the texture of the wood. So I kind of, I like that distinction, and I think that'll work for what I want. And then I'm gonna do dark walnut for the trim pieces, but I haven't exactly figured out how I'm gonna do all of the trim yet. So I was just tracing out where the um, supports meet the board that I'm putting down. So we wanted the board that we'll sit on to be removable so that we can remove it and access the, uh, the electronics underneath it. We know we're not gonna have to do that very often, so we're not gonna worry about hinges. I think we're planning on having a three inch foam pad for our seating, so we didn't really wanna bother having like hinges and having to work out those angles and stuff. So what we're gonna do for this is, um, I'll have basically a free floating board that we'll be sitting on that we'll be upholstering the foam to. And so what I wanna do is I wanna basically trace out with two by twos underneath the board so that when we remove it, we can then um, easily set it back in and using these two by twos we should be able to fit the um, the bottom board back into place onto the dinette supports. So we've mentioned that we're planning on using solar panels for most of our energy, but we also want to have the option to connect to shore power. So we ordered a shore power outlet on Amazon that we're going to connect to the outside of the bus and that will connect to our inverter on the inside of the bus so we can charge our batteries using a 30 amp or a 15 amp hookup because we have an adapter for 15 amp. So this is, uh, so this is the plug right here. It will go on the outside of the bus, probably right about here so that it's not a long distance away from where the inverter is gonna be. To install this, we're gonna have to cut a hole in the side of the bus and we will need to make sure that that is done before we put up the accent wall because it's going to completely cover this area. 
So we'll need to make sure that this is mounted and wired to our inverter before we can put that wall up. And we need the wall up before we can put the dinette bench seats in. So there's quite a few steps left in our dinette building process. We're having a really good time with it right now. There's just a lot of things holding up having a finished final dinette. But I think we're well on the way and that it will definitely be worth the effort and all of the waiting to have a dinette finished the way that we want it and have our electrical setup tied off with no loose ends. So I think this is kind of all we have for today. Tomorrow's Mother's Day, so we'll be taking that day off and spending some time with family. So if you're able to, you know, give your mom a call or a hug. I'm sure she'll appreciate it. We don't really mention that a lot, but we're actually using my parents' land to do this build. So thank you so much, Mom, for all that you've given us, and we really appreciate it. So we'll pick it up next week and continue working on the dinette. This is a pretty lengthy and involved process, so there are a lot of moving parts. But we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.